Lifelong Greenwood, guys. I am so happy to have you here. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button if you like thrifting and upcycling thrifted stuff and uh, chalk painting and all of that. And you can see some of that behind me with my own, some of my thrifted stuff is in my china cabinet. And as a matter of fact, this dining room table was thrifted. But anyway, today I'm bringing you along because I want to do a runner, a runner in like five minutes or less. So this is going to be a spring table runner and I was going to do it and I figured why not just bring you along, right? So I'm going to bring you along and you can see me do this easy, easy peasy spring table runner. So let's get started. All right, what I did, they said I was getting ready to start this without you, but I figured why not? Why not bring everybody along? Um, I got this fabric from Walmart, some Waverly fabric. And I wasn't sure if I wanted a tablecloth or a runner, but I think I'm gonna use a runner. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna make this into a runner. So, I'm gonna make this as easy as possible. So I'm gonna make it the, the length of the fabric, so that's one easy step. And then I'm just gonna cut, cut out the fabric, cut out, cut out what I need, and I'm gonna use my trusty glue gun. So if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and you'll see more of these easy peasy DIYs. All right, so, I'm just gonna cut this fabric and use my glue gun and some ribbon and that's gonna be it, that's gonna be it. So let's get my scissors and the glue gun and I'll come right back. All right, <clears throat> I'm gonna cut it right down the middle. It's already got a line when it was folded in half. So I'm gonna cut it right straight down the middle. I love this fabric, the feel of it. It's like a duck cloth. And this would make great um, pillow covers. So I think I'll do, if there's any left, I may even make some pillow covers. We shall see. All right, let me finish cutting this and I'll come back. Trying to decide which which ribbon to go with the pastel, the light pink, or the darker pink? Hmm. Let's see, let's see. Can't decide. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Catch a piggy by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. My mother told me to pick this one right over here. That's it. So am I going with the lighter one? I can't decide.
All right, let me finish this up and I'll show you the final product. Okay guys, I finished. And I had to take it upstairs and iron it a little bit to get some of the wrinkles out. But it's done and I like the results. So this is an, a view of the end of it. I just took some ribbon and took it all the way down, tucked it under to give myself like a hem. And this is a view all the way down the table. And I just did a little table setting there for you to see what it would look like. Let's go in a little closer so you can see how the pinks are playing. You can see I went with the darker pink. The lighter pink was nice, but I just think the, the darker pink ribbon really set it off. And I just found some, some dishes just to show you um, how the pinks are, are coming across in the dishes and the flowers, the different pinks. So anyway, so that's a quick table runner for spring. That's gonna be cute. I can't wait to like really, really, really use it. I just wanted to get it done quickly. And I might use the other uh, leftover fabric, I may just use that for some pillows. I don't know. We'll see. But very quickly, guys, just some glue, hot glue, fabric, and some ribbon. Come on. Anybody can do this. And if you do decide to uh, make this quick spring table runner, send me a note. Let me um, check out yours. I'd love to see it. Thank you guys for stopping back on Life on Greenwood and... Don't forget to hit that like button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye now.